Well, actually, I have two questions that I would like to ask Warren Buffett. My first question would be, um, yeah, what should I invest in next? Can I have some tips? And my second question would be, I'm not doing too well with the profession I'm in right now. Can you teach me how to play a little basketball, please? Those would be my two questions to Warren Buffett. <laughs> Warren? First one was, what, what, what should you invest in now? Right. I, I think somebody like LeBron, and we've talked about it, but I, I think... You and LeBron have talked about it? Uh, occasionally. Uh, I think, actually, if through the rest of his career, and, and beyond in terms of earning power then, uh, just making monthly investments in a, in a low-cost index fund makes a lot of sense. I think that somebody in his position ought to have a significant cash reserve, and whatever makes them comfortable. And then beyond that, owning a piece of America, a diversified piece, bought over time, held for 30 or 40 years, it's, it's bound to do well. And the income will go up over the years, and, and, and there's really nothing to worry about. You think he's listened to you on that? Oh, I'll have to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> His second question. I would say this. Athletes generally tend to get promoted by people with restaurants or real estate. I mean, they, they're, there's, everybody's got an idea for them. And uh, usually the simplest is the best. What does that mean? The I mean something like uh, just owning, owning the United States, you know, at a, at a decent average price bought over time. You, you really can't go wrong with that. Uh, you, now, Somebody else will end up doing better with this or that, but somebody will end up doing a lot worse with this or that, too. And th their expertise is, is making a lot of money doing something they do extremely well, but they aren't going to generally be able to take the time uh, to become a professional investor, too. And so it's the same advice I give 99% of people. Buy an index fund. And doing it over time and starting early, starting young in life. and. Nobody's ever followed that and, 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 and gotten other than a decent result. Nobody. Mm -hmm. All right. Warren, we'll continue this conversation. Joe, we'll send it back to you right now. I missed the second question, though. Oh, I'm sorry, the second question. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Time out. Let me take it back. Second question was what? If, he, if, he's not doing, if he's not doing so well in his current career, what would you tell him to do? No, no, no. <laughs> he's, help me out here. He's doing fine in his <laughs> present career. And, uh, he wants what? Advice. Oh, he wants advice on how to play basketball. Yeah, well, we, we went one-on-one -on -one for a considerable period, and his game picked up a lot after that, actually. <laughs> I'm kidding, <laughs> kids. <laughs> and, uh, we went up for a jump ball one time, and, and uh, he got it, went the length of the, of the court, dunked it, and just then I was starting to jump. So <laughs> it does he does bit. not have much to learn from me. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. You can subscribe by clicking right here to check out the latest Mad Money CEO interviews, market news, financial advice, and product unboxing. Enjoy! Mm -hmm.